Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how Mistral is using Lago to build their customers. And the first thing we have to do is to take a look at Mistral's pricing page. Let's get the, the example of optimized models. So the optimized models um, and the price for that is depending on the type of model used, so small, medium, and large. And also if the tokens are input or output. And they're pricing a package of million tokens and the price is depending on all those variables we've been uh, discussing, right? So let's replicate that into Lago and I'm gonna show you how Mistral is using Lago uh, for, to build a customer. So let's, for example, select the optimized models and create a billable metric. So the billable metric is a way to track usage, all right? So I'm gonna define a name, optimize models, and a code. And here, Mistral is aggregating the usage of tokens during a month, and at the end of the month, it resumes to zero. So we are going to use what we call the meter type aggregation. And on top of that, uh, we are going to use the sum aggregation type, which is summing the number of tokens during your period. So all the usage will be summed and billed at the end of the month, for example. So I'm going to sum, sum a number of tokens. And as we've been seeing here, the price depends on several dimensions. The first one would be the models used here and then if it's an input or output. So let's define here filters, and that's a, uh, that's a, a feature Mistral is using a lot to define different prices for the same billable metric, and the price depend on the properties of your, of your events. So let's get into it. The first one would be here, the models, and we are gonna define some values. So for example, here, Let's take Mistral small as the first one, Mistral medium as the second one, and Mistral large as the third one. All right, that's our first filters based on models. And if you remember, we have another filter, which is the type input or output. So I'm gonna create another filter and the first value would be input and the second value would be output. So now the price is depending also on these two filters for the optimized models um, billable metric. If the billable metric is a way to track usage, the plans uh, are used to price this usage. Let's get into the plan. Mistral is using full pay as you go uh, plans. So we are doing the same. There is no platform fee, no subscription fee but they are, they are billing and they're pricing uh, the number of uh, tokens used for usage-based charges like optimized models. So we are going to do the same. And if you remember correctly, they are pricing a package of million tokens. So we are going to do exactly the same. I'm gonna choose the package pricing and I'm gonna create combination of filters to have a very specific price per combination. So the first one would be Mistral small plus a type input, which is this first line here. And it's $1 per million tokens. So let's do that, $1 per million token. I'm not gonna offer free usage. And I'm gonna do the same for Mistral small and the type is output. So that's this line here, which is $3 per million tokens. So we have prices for the model called Mistral Small. We are doing the same for Mistral Medium. So let's add a new filter. This is Mistral Medium and the type will be input. In that case, that's $2.7 per million token. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna to a last one, which is Mistral Medium with a type output. And in that case, that's $8.1 per million tokens. So as you can see, we can define for the same usage page charge, 
different prices based on combination. That's exactly how AI companies use Lego to build their customers. I'm going to save this plan and I'm going to create a new customer. So this customer has a name and an ID. All right. And I'm going to show you one of the features Mistral is using a lot to prepaid usage and get paid in advance for usage based billing. So they are using a feature called wallets. Wallets is a way to get payments for usage, but this payment you get that in advance. So that's what we call um, prepaid credits. So I'm going to here show you how it works. So you have, for example, prepaid credits. Let's define a ratio, which is $1 here for one credit. And then you can define a number of credits to purchase or to offer. If you want to offer some credits, you can do that. For example, at the very beginning of the subscription, you offer $10 of credit. Let's say that you have to purchase uh, 100, uh, 100 credits for $100. And Mistral is also using what we call the real-time top-ups uh, and recurring top-ups. The goal here is anytime a customer is going below five credits, Mistral is asking for a new in advance payment of 100 credits for the usage. So that's exactly this rule that they are using, but you can also use uh, the interval, meaning that every single week or month, you can define a new top of rules and that's topping up the number of credits. So let's get to uh, the usage. Here you can see that you can have the ongoing balance, which is the real time balance of credits remaining for your customer. All right. I'm going to go into the uh, analytics tab, but first I'm going to assign a plan. So this plan is the pay as you go plan. And as you might know, we have here now the tracking of usage for the optimized models. And the price here is depending on the combination we've been defining. So let's send usage for one of these combinations. So the customer is here this one, we are sending a number of tokens and let's send a number of tokens for this medium model and the type is output. So I'm going to send that. And by refreshing that, you can see that the usage is uh, populated in real time. And as we've been defining here the inputs for the medium model, then the price is only assigned to this specific combination. We can do the same with, for example, the Mistral small here. So let's change that to small. And let's say this time the model use is output for 2 million tokens used. So I'm going to send that. And again, in real time, you can see the, the usage populated in Lego. And here in that case, it's uh, priced for this small output model. So this is how Mistral is using Lego to build their customers.